Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome back to this course on R. In this video, we're going to look at how to install R as well as R Studio. And we're going to have a little walkthrough on how to do it, but let's first look at the various steps. So the first step is we need to visit the following website. Once we're in this website, we then need to click on a link that corresponds to your region. Once you've done that, you choose your operating system. And you're going to see I choose the Mac. We then click the latest package to download, which is R4.0.3 at the time of recording. Although note, a later version might be available for you. You then open the package on your computer, you follow the installation steps, and then you install RStudio by clicking on the following link. But what we're gonna be doing now is actually walking through this process. Um, and John, let me know if you need any more help in getting this thing installed. So I mean, if you had to just go to Google and type in R, you should get the R project for statistical computing. You can click on that and you can see their homepage isn't the, the most user friendly, but you wanna click on C-R-A-N. And now this stands for the Comprehensive R Archive Networks. And what we wanna do is we wanna select the one that's closest to our region. So for me, fortunately, there is one for South Africa. So I simply click on this one here. Uh, you'll choose that one and then what you want to do is pick your operating system so i've got a mac so i'm going with that then again there's a lot of links and you're like well which one do i choose you want to choose this one over here and essentially when you're watching this video you might see r 4.0.5 or r 4.1 point something else um, that's just going to be the latest version and it's always a good good practice to have the the latest one downloaded so keep your r updated then you'll see in the bottom corner it has finished installing once you've got the install you want to click on it and what it'll do is you can then just go through the installation guide so there's an introduction, there's the README, uh, there's the license, and you just click agree. Make sure you read it though. We, we all know that you have to read it. Um, I'm not gonna finish with the installation types and stuff because I already do have it, but it'll take around 169 megabytes of space on your computer. Then once you have got R installed, uh, you also wanna get something called R Studio. Then you can come back to Google and type in R Studio and you'll get the very first one over here. You wanna click throughout the top, there is a button called download. And then again, you wanna choose your version. I mean, the free version is more than enough. And then you simply click this button over here and you will download our studio, which again, I have already done. So let's open our studio and see what it looks like. And what we're going to be doing in a later video is discussing what each of these four corners do. Uh, but in the very next video, we're going to look at how to install packages in R. And then we're going to come back to this and familiarize ourselves with this interface. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.